everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Nelson's Packers going up against Bryant's Cowboys. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and Mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Green Bay Packers. And we say hi again, everybody. Brandon Gauden here as we count down to kickoff. I turn to my partner, that's Charles Davis. And Charles, Larry pointed out in the open, we've got a pretty good matchup of wide receivers here this afternoon, don't we? And those guys have such a big impact on the game nowadays. We know it's a throwing game, but the guys who can go up and get it, the guys who can break tackles after the catch and make bigger plays, oh yeah, they love spotlight as well. They want the football, they want the attention. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. Their second-year QB leading them. It's the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year for 2017, Dak Prescott. For a fourth-round selection, Dak Prescott looked as comfortable as a rookie quarterback could look right from game one. And by the end of the year, accumulated a lot of statistics. But the biggest one? 13 wins, which tied him with Ben Roethlisberger for the most as a rookie starting quarterback. A first down throw for Prescott. And his first pass is incomplete. The man with over 1,000 catches, Jason Witten, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. The trademark of the Cowboys offense is balance. They start with the running game, the number two running team in the NFL in 2016. And while the number 23 passing number may give some cause for alarm, don't look at it that way. They run the ball so well and so effectively that when they do decide to throw the football, it often results in big plays downfield. On second down, Prescott again. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. And let's get a look at the Green Bay defense. Green Bay's defense in 2016 was a bit unbalanced. Number eight against the run, but number 31 against the pass. So you know the offseason emphasis is on trying to make sure they shored up the secondary and increase the pass rush. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He's got a man, it's Williams. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a 10-yard pickup and it moves the chains. The numbers for Dak as a rookie last year are still kind of mind-boggling. You look at QB rating, Dak was 104.9. Now, among full-time quarterbacks, only two Super Bowl quarterbacks, Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, were higher. And look who he finished ahead of. Guys like Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson, amazing. So here we go, first and ten now. First carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. They go to Elliott again, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got a third down and five to start things out. Shotgun, it's Prescott. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now the seventh-year man, Chris Jones, on to kick. Trevor Davis, deep for Green Bay. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. He led the NFL with 40 touchdown passes in 2016. In fact, he's only the fourth quarterback to throw at least 40 touchdowns in multiple seasons. And he keeps getting better. Better timing, better understanding of the offensive system, and great coordination with his play calling head coach. Rodgers now on first down. And caught. This is Bennett, the tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Have you gotten used to seeing Martellus Bennett in number 80? <laughs> I mean, he's been number 88 his entire career, right? And how about that? The fans selecting his jersey number. Yeah, that was his idea. He put that out there on social media and said, here, here are a few choices. What should I wear? And he went with what the fans picked. Over 100,000 people weighed in. First down is Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Rodgers now to throw. Caught by Nelson left side. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. to throw once more. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Nelson. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
So the offense has it first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. They'll leave it for Montgomery complete. Call it a gain of five, and it'll be second down. And that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. It's a gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Rodgers again now. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And again, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. On the left hash, officially, it's called a 51-yard attempt. And that hits the crossbar and comes back no good. And by just a couple of inches, this remains a scoreless game. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. seconds. The Cowboys all-time receptions leader Jason Witten the intended target and that'll bring up second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Third down, it's Prescott. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final play of the half, Prescott going deep here for Bryant, and they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Defense has been the name of the game. It's not often you see a matchup where both sides can't find a way to get on the scoreboard. We'll have to see if the offense picks up in the second half. All right, let's roll the highlights. 
First and ten. It's Aaron Rodgers hooking up with his big play receiver, Devontae Adams. And he'll end up at their own 45-yard line before being tackled. Score stays the same, though, as they miss the field goal. So that'll do it from here in Orlando. No points in this one yet. But we'll hand it back over to a man who's always on point. That's Brandon Guy. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll see which avenue they choose to go down. On first down, Rodgers. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. On second down, here's Rodgers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And some room to work. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Call it a pickup of seven. And that'll bring up fourth down. now is the Packers punter as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Yeah. 
And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And back out onto the field comes the Packers defense. And they were able to halt them last time on fourth down. It was a great stand. They'll be looking for another stand here. To be able to stand up against someone trying to go for it on fourth down, because obviously they went for it because they thought that they could get it, that they thought they had the right play call, didn't happen. They're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves going forward and flexing the rest of this game. And the offense will be trying to prevent that flex on this drive. First and ten, Prescott got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports back now in arlington as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. On the counter, Elliott. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Here's Prescott. Drops it underneath, Elliott. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. Prescott to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and that'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Prescott over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jason Witten, the intended target, and it's third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Now Prescott. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And now a first down following that long gain. Now Elliott. And he'll be 
be taken down at the 34. And now the Packers are going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Second down following the run. Again, it's Elliott. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So a big kick coming now for Dan Bailey. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. That was a nicely executed block there, but sometimes it's not just the kicker who feels the pressure in this situation. Well, I think a lot of people could feel pressure on the offensive side. The defense a little more loose with it. Yeah, you, listen, they're just going all out trying to get to the football. And to your point, the offensive guys, okay, who do I have? Who am I blocking? If that changes in the defensive front, does that change what we do in our blocking assignment? And sometimes that confusion or that tightness can lead to a bad play. And it keeps the game tied here late in the fourth. sideline but they say already out of bounds and the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field and that brings up second down work with me partner take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now that incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit get in the huddle kind of scan the crowd see if any celebrities are here relax a little bit as they start this big drive second down now after the incompletion Rodgers to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. Back to throw. Rodgers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Got it. 
To throw is Rodgers. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Now it's Rodgers. And that's incomplete. If we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play, we're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game Nothing between these two teams for four quarters. Here we go to begin overtime. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day. But I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Now a play fake here on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down, Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Interesting, they took a shot right out of the overtime gate, Charles. I think what they were trying to do was to create a big play that would not only energize them on offense and put that thought squarely in their head about winning the game, and also they were trying to flip field position, coming from deep in their own territory. Unsuccessful on that play. Throwing now is Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he's brought down after a good game. That one goes for 24 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Rogers going to give this one to Montgomery. And three yards there takes him to the 45.
Now it's second and seven. Play fake to Montgomery. Now Rodgers lets it go for Nelson. This is caught inside the 15. A huge play there in overtime. 42 yards. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Rodgers hands to Montgomery. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game.